Hey, welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a way on how to uh, prevent an alert, an alert dialog from closing. Uh, let me open up the emulator and show you what I'm actually talking about. So here, I have the uh, button that says Show Dialog. And by the way, the source code for this project is based on the previous tutorial. tutorial. Uh, it is the Android Custom Dialog. So please be sure to check that out for your reference. Okay, so here I have a button, so I click on that, then I have two edit text and two buttons. So let's say, for example, right, I, I inserted my email, uh, mail at yahoo.com, and then I put in password, so I have the password ready, so when I click on login, okay, login is successful and it dismisses the dialog. But let's say there's a case whereby I forgot to fill my email and I've inserted my password, so I click on login, you see, I'm not actually dismissing dialog. Instead, I'm showing a toast message saying that please fill any empty fields. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. Uh, let's go to uh, Android Studio and open up the previous project. Okay. And then right in the, uh, the login, set on click listener, the button, right? We don't need this button anymore. So I'll comment this out. All right, and then I'll go to the dialog underscore login. I'm going to remove the login button because we don't need that anymore. We're going to use the uh, the alert dialog buttons, which is the positive and the negative buttons. So go to design, it's, it's gone, okay. And then inside the, uh, the onclick method for the show dialog button, here I'm, uh, I'm creating the alert dialog builder, right? So go all the way down. And then right here, I'm going to set the positive and the negative button. So it's mbuilder.set uh, positive button. And then for the label, we'll call it login. And we're going to set an onclick listener for it. So inside the onclick method, we're not, going, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to leave it uh, empty right here. We're gonna uh, work with that later on. As for the uh, the negative button, we're just going to dismiss the the dialog. So m builder dot set negative negative button, and then give it a label of dismiss and set an on click listener for it. Okay, so inside the inside this method, the on click, we're just going we are going to dismiss the Dialog. So dialog dot dialog interface dot dismiss. Great. So now we have the uh, the positive and the negative button. Uh, next, we need to work with the the positive button, which is the login in our case. Uh, so you can see here I've defined it. I have defined an alert dialog called and I name it dialog. So right after the we show the dialog we're going to do something like this. So it's dialog dot get button. Okay. And then inside the parentheses, we're going to look for the, the positive button through the alert dialog. So we, we do alert dialog and then dot button positive. That's the one. So you see I have button positive, negative and neutral. So in our case, we're going to work with the positive button. So we'll select that positive button and then dot set on click listener and then new on click listener. Okay. So here inside the on click method is where we're going to handle the logic where if any of the, whether the user have actually filled both fields or we have, he had forget to fill any of the fields. So we'll just copy the code from the login on click method. We're just going to copy this and we're going to paste that inside the, the positive button here. So paste that here. Then remove the comment, arrange the code. Okay. Another thing is if let's say the user have successfully filled the email, uh, Email, ad email address and password, then I'm going to show a toast message and I'm going to dismiss the dialog. So to dismiss it, you can just call dialog. So I say dialog dot dismiss. Okay. 
and then for the the uh, if the user have failed to insert any of the fields I'm going to show a toast message right here okay so that's basically the code for it now let's give it a run okay uh, the app is visible on the emulator so click on show dialog and then we have the the box here now we'll just uh, let's say I put my email address email at yahoo yahoo.com and then password yes I need type anything click on login okay the toast message is showing successfully login is successful let's say I click on dismiss okay dialog is dismissed I click outside the dialog is dismissed that's okay click on login there you have it guys the toast message is showing up if you forget to fill the the two edit text or either any one of them okay so that's basically for this short tutorial uh, if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these awesome tutorials please uh, click on the subscribe button thanks again for watching and happy coding